How you going, Maddie? Oh, yeah, good. So Thanks for keeping watch. But, um, we have rats, so that's why I'm rats. Oh, yeah, yeah. just it's it's Probably a frog, most likely. Looks like a decent size one. Yeah. yeah. Um, and he's going to have his $25,000 at ramen. Oh, it's not a blue face, is it? Don't tell me it's blue. Are oh, you? Yeah. Oh, pretty close. It's not more. Yeah, it almost is. Every now and again you'll get ones that are fully blue. This one is not quite, it's more grey. But um, this is why they don't really get called green tree snakes so much anymore. So, it looks like it had eaten something. Yeah, it feels like it's got just here where my hand is there. There's a bit of a lump there where it has eaten something. It can bite, but there's no venom, so if it bites, I'm perfectly fine. Um, but this is a rather large one for a tree snake. So it's just coming in for the rats that we've had? No more. They don't really eat mammals. They eat uh, frogs. So he'll be after your green tree frogs. I'd say that's most likely a green tree frog in his belly. Not to say if it's desperate enough, it won't, but um, we have generally have enough frogs around here. So I don't know if you can smell that. Can you smell that real foul smell? Yeah. That's the snake. It, that's its first means of self-defense. Let's out a pungent smell um, just to ward off anything that's planning on eating it. So. I'm not myself, I can't handle it. But yeah, that's what it is. That is a, just a non venomous colubrid oh, okay. tree snake. Um, but I thought, see, see the, this colour though? It's, I would call this a grey variation because this is all pretty much grey. Normally with these snakes, it'll be like a green on top, like it gets darker green but quite bright green on the side with a very butter yellow belly. Um, every now and again, we'll catch them in blue or even black. They can be golden, but I've never seen a golden specimen. But this, they could be, um, yeah, that's that smell. They can be, um, Brown, fully brown, and this one, as you can see, is fully grey. Yeah, that's what we would So I'm trying to explain to people. It's got specks on it. I've got no idea what's. Well, I probably should have thought to myself, specks. The most common snake with these flecks is a tree snake, but the eastern brown snake today has been very brown, so we did an eastern brown at Craigmish. Um, they can also have little flecks along their body as well. So, but when you said white flecks, brown snakes will have the white flecks. So only rarely, but sometimes they will. Now normally these are really bright, like turquoise, blue, really vibrant normally. But this is... You did the right thing because yeah. it turns out it was a harmless snake. But if it's yeah. not, and you try and yeah. catch it yourself and muck around, that's how people kill themselves. So, so do you live at, like behind us now? So it's like an reserve. Oh yeah. So we're gonna have them constantly. Especially, is there much water there? Yeah, there was now. Like a wetlands or anything? Hey mate, what a wicked looking tree snake. This is a heaps unusual variation, it's fully grey. Let's try and get a good look at this snake. Hey buddy, how'd you come? Oh, there's a tiny hint of green in the, in the neck, which is actually showing up much more on the camera than it is in real life. In real life, it looks very, very grey. Hey man, hey, come on, you're free to go. You can go home. You wanna go home? Here you go. Hey, up you go, man. Up you go, buddy. Stunning snake, huh? Up you go. You find your way. Pretty decent size for a tree snake, I must say. Put it over there.